Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to Green Tea Garden. Four days of rain in New York, Long Island here, guys. It's been raining nonstop, storm, wind, so I just literally came back to the garden. Uh, today video, guys, I'm going to show you guys, and I'm going to explain what I've been doing. It's been over a week now I had this problem with one of my squash plant. It's actually rotten out. I, I lose maybe four to five squash already. As Soon as I see it, guys, I don't leave them, I cut them out. So I'm really up close right now, and I'm gonna show you. Uh, this plant right here is my squash plant. So basically, guys, you know, squash, zucchinis, they're all in the same family. So guys, I didn't harvest any squash yet. All these cuts, I'm gonna tell you like this one right here that was a rotten one I have a couple more rotten one that I cut out and some of these that I cut are big giant leaves this one is looking good like this one is already looking a little weird but it's still healthy it's still good but once I see and I notice from the main root coming up guys these big ones right here and I prune them out I cut them a couple days back before the rain and you could see before before I cut all this out, I lost so much veggies. So what I decided to do, I decided to cut a bunch out coming from the main root. Coming from the main root, that's not gonna produce anymore. There's no fruit next to it, because if you watch this squash plant, guys, it runs right here. One of the main branch, one of the branch comes, the stem comes off straight here, and from here, you could see it's producing more squash towards that other way. But coming back this way, it wasn't producing any more thing over here. It was just growing all leaves. So if you really think about it, it's just wasting a lot of time and nutrition. You know, it worked up and grow all this giant leaf. I don't want to show people my plant have all giant leaves. And there's no veggie. So I cut out some of them. And I left, I left one of this, as you can see right here it's off right here this is gonna this is gone this is going bad because it's already getting yellow and it's it's gonna this done so we're gonna go ahead guys and i'm telling you we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna clip him out right look i'll clip him out right here look i'll show you guys right now right so this is what i'm talking about right now so after i cut that out this this one leaf that's coming up we really you know look at the plant guys let me step back and show you right now this plant have a lot of leaves so we really don't need this leaf i know some people might not agree but guys this is what i've been doing and i'm going to show you right here. I come up close and i'm going to snap it then i come right here and i cut it clean out does not affect my main branch as you could see i cut a bunch of look i'm not afraid to cut them guys back in the days i was afraid now they call me the cutter. No, I'm just kidding. There's another squash running there. He's growing good. There's another one over there. So now we have enough flowers for that. So now we don't, we're not going to use any more energy around this whole zone. So now the plant is going to use more of the energy to go in to those fruit and to those flowers. This is a good looking bad one if that makes sense because some of them were like smaller than that and just fell out well so there's a couple of problems first of all the 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 main one of the one of the problem is your watering you got to make sure it's not too dry or you're not over watering it to soak up the whole root and not giving a chance to dry out and to regrow so we had four days of rain this is not going to be watering for a while you guys could see my soil see that that's so loose and moist. So another thing too, guys, there's no weed around here. So there's nothing more observing the energy. If you're gonna water in in the morning, try to keep that routine going, water in the morning. If you're gonna water in the afternoon, water in the afternoon. Try to stick with your routine to the plant. Do not keep mixing the water routine up on the plant, guys. The water plant will expect to have the water in certain times, believe it or not. And another thing, guys, when it's getting rotten out worse at the bottom it's because of calcium yep the plant the soil is not that rich you need some kind of plant food to help nutrition it up help to you know the, the roots are big the plant is you know big and is producing big f veggies so obviously guys we're gonna need to richen up the soil and another thing is the calcium the calcium is one of the big thing 
in when it comes to squash, zucchini, and stuff like that, you, you're going to need more calcium. You could get calcium from if you're doing uh, compost, natural compost. Uh, you're gonna you're doing your own compost. Uh, adding eggshells to your compost is increasing the calcium. Another way you could do lime. Lime product definitely works too, but you have to be careful. Certain plants does not work with certain plant it works with. You know you could add add an organic plant food. It has nutrition, has calcium, has everything would help. But the main thing, but one of my natural thing I would do because I have a compost right there, that black bin, that black container right back there. So that's what I'm doing, natural compost, guys. So definitely your plant will need more nutrition and it needs more calcium. So guys, after enriching up the soil, cutting out extra leaf, I finally have my first squash, guys. I'm going to show you guys right there. Whoa, my first squash, which I'm going to cut right now. I'm going to harvest right now to show you guys. I could leave it to grow more, but I think that's actually, it's perfect right there. So... I'm going to go ahead and cut it right now so you guys could see. But come right here and I'm going to snap snap it right there. All right. So basically guys, this I'm so so excited right now. So guys, as you can see this plant is running off to the left and it's running off to the right. So this is a it's a pretty big uh squash plant I have here. This is my first uh, squash plant like this one right here. So this is one of the example when your plant has less calcium The root does not have enough energy. So remember guys calcium in the plant help build help builds up the structure and Helps the plant produce a you know stronger to produce more with a little help of a plant food or you know Just a regular compost if you guys do your own compost you will not have this problem guys eggshells in your compost You will not have no problem like this at all after losing five to six squash I finally get to pick one and I finally have more coming you know I have a ton more squash now is gonna come and it's super excited guys this is this is amazing all right guys so definitely this is something that I had a battle with and after figuring out what's the problem and the solution with common sense skills that I have to the garden and I apply it and definitely guys you could see my first squash it's not you know bigger you know, I'm still excited because I grow this from seed. So, you know, when you grow your plant from seed, guys, and you pick your first squash or first veggie, you're always excited. So this is exciting for me, guys, after ba after losing five, six squash. And I'm going to leave in the description below, guys, to check out some calcium uh, stuff. And all, this links, all the links that I use, guys, is going to be from Amazon because I am an Amazon affiliate or two. So I'll leave that in the link below so you guys could check it out, see which one you like. And... Guys, hopefully, you know, there was a lot of stuff to cover in this video and I didn't want to keep going more. But hopefully, you know, you guys, hopefully some of the tips was really good for you guys and you guys could apply it and it works for you. Because so far, guys, I'm telling you, after five squash, I finally got one and there's more coming and they're not rotten in or turning yellow. And you can see, guys, none of my leaves are actually yellow. That's another thing. Some of my leaves was turning yellow due because of the water no water or too much water so you got to make sure you get your water on point guys guys thank you guys for watching green tea garden and please don't forget to subscribe guys i have tons of more video coming up and let's grow better garden let's not lose our vegetables that we work so hard for guys thank you